Hey YouTubers, Steve here and welcome back to the Trainline 14 YouTube channel. Excited to give you a new video today and I'm going to start by asking you all a question. How many of you have seen a Lionel engine that you've always wanted but you weren't sure where to find it or how to obtain it? Well, it's the question we're going to be answering in this video today. We're going to talk about where can you find your favorite Lionel engine. These engines are rare, they're collector's items, they're not mass produced, so sometimes it can be a bit tricky to find that engine you've always wanted. Therefore, if you want to find the engine that you have always wanted, you're going to have to do a little bit of digging. Now I'm going to go about this video telling you some strategies of where you can find these engines, and I'm going to give you my own experiences of where I found each of these three special engines that I own, the GS6 Pilot, the Lion Master 4006 Big Boy and the Heritage SD70 ACE KD unit number 1988. So let's talk about probably one of the most obvious sources, Lionel.com. Here's the thing about Lionel.com. I never order anything off of Lionel's website. And the reason being is because their selection is just terrible. I mean, they do have some things on there. I don't know if it's gotten any better. I haven't really checked in recent times because I just don't even go on there anymore. Every time you try to find an engine that's some kind of special engine or a legacy or something, you know, pretty awesome that isn't like a ready to run, it's just the chances of finding it on Lionel.com are slim. It either gets picked over really fast or they just send it out to distributors and you know it just there's just never anything available on Lionel's website everybody knows about it and everything's gone the second it opens so Lionel.com not your best place to be looking for a collectible engine but with that said there's one exception now if an engine is build to order you pretty much have to jump on the gun right when the engine is released if you really want it sure these engines are sold after market once the engine's all uh, built and shipped out, but they usually go for a premium as people will typically mark them up much more expensive than their base price. So if you really would like a build-to-order engine, your best bet is to just cough up the funds and order it as a build-to-order engine right from the factory, delivered straight to you. That way you get all the, all the goodies that are included with the engine, any certificates and whatnot, and going build to order always guarantees you the engine that you want. You'll always be able to have that engine as long as you place the order when Lionel builds them. That's why it's always good to save a little bit of money just in case that one engine you like comes on a build to order list. Now, let's say an engine you want is not build to order. Well then, it kind of depends on when the engine was made. Uh, most new engines you're going to have a pretty good shot of getting. However, if the engine is older, maybe you know a couple years or it's been on the market for some time, it's going to be a lot tougher. And uh, that's exactly what it was for my big boy and Katie here. I'll tell you a quick story about each of those. So when it comes to engines that were that are older, you kind of have to go based on local hobby shops. You can look online, but most of the online stuff is pretty picked over at that point. If you look really hard, you might get lucky. Best bet for that is probably eBay because you're going to have to buy it secondhand because they're no longer made and distributed from a retailer. You're going to have to buy it off somebody else most likely. But with that being said, let me talk about how I got my big boy. My big boy I bought at a local retailer called Chicagoland Hobby and boy was it a lucky find. I cannot believe nobody had picked this thing over. I bought it back in 2011 actually. Yeah, wow, it's actually been that long. Holy cow. But yeah, these things were made in 2008, so it was three years old at the time, and I got lucky finding one buried at a local hobby store. It's actually a pretty big hobby store, but it was available, and I got lucky. The Katie, that was a real find. I got that one in 2013. It was released in 2007. To be honest with you, my parents did the job of finding that one for me, and I have no idea how they got it. I think they dug and dug on the internet and got super lucky as to find that engine and it has been in my collection ever since and I am never getting rid of it because I don't think I'd be able to find another one. So that's how I got those two getting older engines. Like I said, best bet, eBay or local retail shops that don't necessarily have the best websites because when something's on a website, it's available to the whole world versus a local retailer. 
you can uh, pretty much just go and pick it up and that's the only market is the local people so one more thing to be said about local retailers if you live in a rural area maybe you don't have local retailers around you that's okay sometimes if you go to a nearby city they'll have them if you want to take a small road trip or if you know of some that are in a city and let's say they don't really have the best websites a lot of times these little mom and pop shops really don't have an up to par website the best you can do is just call. Call and ask, see what they have available. Maybe they can send you some pictures of their display unit. And that's the best way to go. Because like I said, mom and pop shops don't always have the most up-to-date websites. So if you're in a rural area, don't be afraid to call if you know uh, of any local hobby shops or take a road trip. Maybe you're on vacation, something like that. Be sure to stop in any hobby shops you see. You never know what you might find. So now, what if your engine was just recently produced, but it was not a build-to-order engine? Well, then you're in luck. Usually, when engines are first produced, they're distributed to several hobby retailers, including online, and this is your best chance to buy online. The sooner you order it after it's produced, the better your chances, as I said, because the engine's still out there, it hasn't been bought up yet. And that's what happened with my GS6 Pilot here. I got this off the website Nicholas Smith Trains. Uh, they had a couple left in stock. I think they had two left in stock when I bought this. And I literally bought it, man, it had to be the year it came out because it was still on the shelf and I jumped and I got it because I really wanted that GS6. Um, so usually within a year, maybe two, you'll have some luck getting them on these websites. A good couple websites you can start with are Nicholas Smith Trains, as I said. Uh, another one I like is Grzbowski's Train Store. Also, I think Chicagoland Hobby, believe it or not, has a website, and I think they do ship. Don't quote me on that, but that is always a choice. And believe it or not, eBay is actually another great site for buying new trains. There's a lot of uh, distributors, that, distributors that'll sell right off eBay, brand new, in the box, never used, and some, that could be an option for you. You know, you see a brand new engine on there, buy it brand new, even if it's off eBay. So those are some tips to get you started with online. So that about does it for this short video I'm bringing you guys. I know it's very limited, but I wanted to get some information to you as quick as I can. New engines, uh, even the legacy collector ones, usually are easier to find because they're right off the market. You can usually go to several t uh, well-known websites or several train websites. There's so many I can't even name them all. But be sure to jump on those websites and pick up the train you want before it's gone. Older engines, either visit secondhand, maybe, uh, or also I forgot to include pawn shops could be an option. Um, normally local retailers, since they don't have the most up-to-speed websites. And, of course, eBay, buying it from uh, used condition from other private owners. Uh, and then, finally, build-to-order. You pretty much have to order it when the build-to-order call comes out or you could buy it secondhand off somebody that bought it and is reselling it. A lot of people like to flip these collector's items uh, for a profit. But those are your options when it comes to finding hard to find Lionel engines. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this video helped you out. As, as of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will answer as much as I can. But for now, thanks for tuning in. See you all next time and happy railroading.